Well, first lesson. Masks are the gateway to this place. Never forget, whatever masks you wear, there is always one more mask underneath. One of the, the, the ideas we, we played with during the development of Fisherman was the idea of uh, moving from one level to the other with the mechanic of, of using mask or, or uh, headsets. And it's something we, we've seen pretty early on uh, with uh, games like uh, Fantastic Contraption or Accounting. Even if when we were started to think about this, it was not so so new. And it also, it, it, felt, uh, it felt like a completely different uh, mechanic that, that needed a f a full attention. We, we did uh, choose to put aside this idea and focus more on the on the recursion uh, mechanic. This idea of uh, using masks as a way to navigate in, in, a, in a virtual world was something that, that, that was still in, in my mind. There are different uh, influences. Uh, the first was when I saw a piece called Mask Maker by um, an actor named Mim Marceau in France. It's not. It's not really well known. It's a. Uh, it's old school stuff. It's like mime. And even if I'm not at all into mime, I I I, uh, I stumble upon this thing. So the the piece was super intriguing, super mysterious because the actor plays with masks and changes face, and at some point is uh, stuck with a mask on his face. The impossibility to uh, taking off the mask, this uh, feeling of being trapped inside the mask, connected with the idea of uh, playing uh, with masks to be to explore a world. This, this concept of mask maker started to to emerge, and also something philosophically that was pretty strong, I think, in this piece was something he, he says in the introduction, something like... But for me, the mass maker is the man who represents humanity with all the faces humanity can possess. They take it close to my heart during all the production because uh, I, I think it's uh, giving this power to someone is a pretty uh, strong uh, endeavor. And even if it's uh, for a few hours in a game, I thought this could be quite amazing to play with this idea of, of embodying a lot of different characters, playing with the, f the different faces of, of humanity, but uh, being a single uh, person at the same time. I am Sir, Mask of the Mountains. Mine is the second secret lore of Carnival. Know thyself and defy oblivion, lest you lose yourself in the masquerade. Each character has a different role to play. Each, each character has different tasks, and you need to understand what is his task, his or her, her, uh, her task, to fully embody uh, the character and, and understand the mask. It's pretty concrete, actually. It's not so much philosophical, even if the base <laughs> concept is. It ended up being pretty like, uh, as it's a puzzle game, it, it became transformed into uh, how I, what, what is the step I need to complete in order to, uh, with this, with the character I'm embodying, in order to move on to the next step? Until I've um, embodied all the characters in the world, and I can understand who I'm, I am really uh, myself as a character. So the game is a giant puzzle in a way. That sounds very sounds very you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Yes, maybe. <laughs> One of the other influences that is more in the background for me because I grew up, I, I could say, in a mask world a little bit because my father was a collector of of of, uh, of traditional masks from all over all around the world. So, uh, but it was in his workshop. So when I was able to sneak into his workshop, uh, when he was painting or doing the, doing all other stuff, or maybe even like repairing some masks. I, I was quite uh, like astonished by uh, by all the, the different personas of this mask. It's something that was pretty much in the back of my mind when I saw this uh, mask maker thing. When I, I when when I had this uh, concept of of maybe playing with like stuff on your face to to move from world to world, the, all the, the the memories and background I had I had of uh, growing growing up among masks came uh, came uh, floating back. I realized that. It was already there in a way, and I felt like a connection, a really strong connection between my uh, my day-to-day -day life as a VR creator, and uh, and these masks I, I grew up with, and these masks that hold a really strong magical power almost. So without going too much into the the real aspects of mas masks, 
I really like the idea of, of them as a portal to explore an imaginary uh, world. That's why it's, it's, uh, it's uh, in a way, it's tied to a kind of personal story uh, because, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was among masks all my life, but I did not really look at it before uh, doing VR. This is the power of the mask maker. Metroidvania was, uh, was really... Um, kind of a role model for us, even if we didn't exactly follow it by the book. <laughs> it's, a, it's an attempt of uh, making Metroidvania with masks, but it, it's, uh, I, I would say it's a pretty modest at attempt because even if uh, the game uh, is much more open than uh, Fisherman's Tale, it's not as open than uh, like a Metroid <laughs> game could, uh, is. It's fairly a fairly casual game also, so we didn't want to to make the game too complex with a lot of uh, backtracking uh, stuff. It, it, it was, uh, above all, the idea that we, we like in the Metroidvania was the, the idea that, that at some point the game expands, opens up in different directions, and, and you don't feel, uh, and you're not obliged to go in a certain direction. You have a certain input as for what's the, the, next, the next place you can go, because there is a story, mostly, and there is a specific story to tell. Uh, the, the kind of different threads uh, merge into a one more linear thread at the uh, nearby the end of Take the game. End. Get close to me. Take off my mask, and you will discover the truth. Even if it's a really different concept uh, from a Shaman's Tale, which was really true to VR in a way, uh, this is also something that that feels really um, inherently uh, VR experience. The, the fact that you wear a mask from beginning to end and many masks, I think is really a, a strong part of it. And I, I hope that uh, players will uh, will feel that. And will, when they take off the headset at the end of the game, they really feel like they, they completely lost themselves in a, in a way in this world. Maybe the fact that they lost themselves among many masks, uh, when they take off the mask and they can uh, they, they watch themselves in the mirror, they feel even more themselves than, than before. The fact that you have been lost among all these faces of humanity, maybe uh, you feel like even more unique uh, in a way. <laughs>